back again. All right, well, today we're going to talk about polo red flankers. Polo red intense, polo red extreme. I'll let you know what I think about each of these. So polo red intense, what do I get when I smell this? Well, to me, pick up some cranberry notes, get some citrus notes in there. As it dries down, get some ginger. There's some other notes in there as well. Now, time of the year. This is where I think this gets interesting with this fragrance. I ideally would say you wear this fall, winter, and spring. I've worn it in the summer. Is it sweet? Yes. So you might think, sweet fragrance, do I really want to wear it in the summertime? I've done it, didn't have an issue on my skin, but your skin might be different. So if you want to avoid anything, I would avoid maybe summer, but I've done it and it hasn't been an issue. So I think in that case, you can wear all four seasons. Now, I think you can also wear it day or nighttime. That's the cool thing about this fragrance. Again, Day or nighttime, it works. You can wear this in any setting. Again, with work, maybe be careful because it is sweet. So try to tone down the sprays. That's what I would say. Other than that, go crazy. You know, do the Jufro spray method. But I think you wear it in any setting. Now, longevity. Get eight hours on my skin with this. Now, it's not really a heavy projecting fragrance. I think after hour two, three, it dies down. It's there. It lingers. I can smell it. I get wafts of it. But I don't think it's very heavy, you know, very heavy projecting fragrance. So there's that, again, on my skin. But like I said, you can smell it there hours after. You're getting getting whiffs of it, all right? Now, is this blind buy worthy? Well, I think if you like sweet fragrances, you know that, I think, yes. Other than that, no, I wouldn't do it. No, it's not, again, it's not an unpleasant smell, but you know, it is a nice smelling fragrance. It is a nice smelling fragrance. I'm not gonna say that. But again, you have to know that you like sweet fragrances. Otherwise, I would avoid it because then you might just hate it. The hard thing about it is I don't see this in stores. So with that being said, I wouldn't risk it. Maybe get a decan of it, maybe a small decan you can get, try it out and see. It's not a very expensive fragrance, but you know, you're not sure. So you'd be like, all right, you know, do I want a versatile fragrance, but do I want to spend, I think it's 60, 80 bucks on it. Mm, I don't know. So there's that. So I would avoid it. Like I said, unless you know you like sweet fragrances. Now, saying all that, I'm going to give this a three and a half pro rating. Yes. The vaunted half is in there. Okay. The reason why is this. Three, it's a solid fragrance. Okay. Smells nice. It does work in pretty much any setting. I think that's what bumps it up to the half. Now, I don't reach for this often. So, I mean, I've used it a lot before in the past because I've had this bottle for many years now. Um, so I've used it just, you know, being around people where I'm like, all right, I don't want to maybe challenge their noses with something niche. So, you know, that's why I give it that three and a half for rating. Again, it is a pleasant smelling fragrance. I just don't personally feel it's something, oh my God, spectacular. I got to have this in my collection. But like I said, what bumps it up? Is that you can wear this all year round and day or nighttime. So there's that. So that is Polo Red Intense. We'll get into Polo Red Extreme. So now with Polo Red Extreme. So what do I get when I smell this? It's like a very simple note breakdown. There's really only three <laughs> notes in there. There's a blood orange note in there. We can smell it. Coffee, I definitely picked that up. And Woody definitely picked that up. The citrus there, I don't really, it's there. I don't really pick up on it. I feel... It's like I said, it's there. You can smell it. But to me, the coffee and the woody notes are heavier on my skin. All right. Now, in terms of time of the year, to me, I think you can wear this fall and winter for sure. Spring, if it's a cooler day, perfect. Now, day or nighttime, I think you can wear this during the day. I really think you could. But it is kind of heavy, in my opinion, at least for me. I mean, it doesn't necessarily last that long. That's the only thing. But I think it's better suited for the evening. Again, I think you wear it during the day because, again, it's not very heavy projecting fragrance. But evening time is best suited, okay? Now, in terms of setting, well, let me tell you. To me, this is best suited if you're going out on a date. Now, the reason why I say it is this. Again, it's not heavy projecting fragrance. So, I think if you're going out and you're, like, expecting you want everybody to just smell you in a room, this fragrance is not it. But if you're going out on a date with your significant other or you're trying to impress some, someone, I think this is a great scent. I think this works very well for that. Again, I only get six to seven hours on my skin with it. Between there, I've tried it multiple times there. Again, it's not a very heavy projecting fragrance. So if you're gonna be in close proximity with someone, this is a great fragrance to wear. So there's that. 
Is this blind buy worthy? Well, let me tell you. No, and I'll tell you why. Now, very simple note breakdown, right? Okay, but again, if you, you a coffee can be hit or miss with people. That's the thing. Like, I love the smell of coffee. I drink coffee every day. I love it brewing. I love just smelling it. So to me, I know for myself, this is something I would would want. Be just because of, I mean, that's what I when I I blind bought this. Okay, so the reason why I blind bought it because I was like, all right, I know I like coffee. All right, citrus notes. Who doesn't really like citrus notes? I mean, unless it's super synthetic, but if it's like grapefruit, which this is, doesn't have grapefruit, so I'm okay with that. Woody notes. For most of us, we do like woody notes. So in that case, knowing myself, I knew it. If I blind bought this, I would be fine. And I was right. So again, if you know you like it, cool. If you know you like coffee notes in there, I think this is a way to go. If you're not sure about that, I wouldn't blind buy. Now saying all this, guys, I'm gonna give this a five for rating. Originally, on an old video, I gave this, I think, a four for a rating. As I've worn this more, and just the way, it, again, it's very simple, but, because again, it's not an extreme note breakdown, but God, it just smells so good. I Again, I love coffee notes and fragrances. So saying that, this to me is absolutely fantastic. Again, it's a great date night fragrance, definitely in the cooler weather. This is just money. To me, this is just money. Doesn't get talked about a lot. That's the crazy thing about this. I feel like I don't see many people mentioning this at all. So to me, and I don't know too many designer scents, at least that I've encountered, that have a great coffee note in it. I think this one has it. So if you want a coffee note and you don't want to spend a lot of money on this, I don't think this is discontinued. I think you could pretty you can find it for a pretty good deal. I think I think if you could find it maybe like 70 bucks, I think that's where it's running for in great market size. I think it's a great pickup. Again. The unique date night fragrance. I would definitely go for it. Now, guys and gals, what do you think? Have you smelled both of these? What do you think? Which one do you think is better? Am I crazy for only giving this a three and a half? Am I crazy for giving this a five for over again? Y'all, please tell me in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. But again, if you want something between the two, to me, this is the standout. I personally think from all the red, outside of polo green, I think this is the best one. To be honest with you, I mean, I think it's kind of on par with Polo Green. I love it. It's it's kind of old man smelling, some people say. So to me, I think this is the best one I've smelled out of the Polo line. Maybe you guys will disagree. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Remember, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell so you get those notifications. I'd appreciate it. Chew <laughs>